Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer tutorials for beginner. Siawash is here and in today's tutorial we are going to work on a part 2 of the Enterprise Network topology which we built on previous tutorial. If you remember, we have a 3 segment on this topology, VLAN 10 for server segment, VLAN 20 for sales and VLAN 30 for finance department. We set up the gateway on the router 0 here and all the machines able to communicate among each other as well as reach to the server. So we don't have any issue with that. And in part 2, we are going to set up the services. So click on a server, go to the services tab. In previous tutorial, we set up the DHCP. Uh, just review that, make sure that is on. And we have one interface on this server, so faster than 0. And we add the pools, two pools for VLAN 30 and VLAN 20. Set up all the necessary information like uh, default gateway, DNS server, as well as start and end IP addresses. So start IP address and the maximum user we can get. So automatically we have end, end IP addresses. So next things we want to set is let's go for dns since we assign the dns to the server itself we can go to the dns tabs and just make sure the service is on and just put some dub 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 like sasite.net and resolve to address a 192.168.10.1 as you know the dns server job is change the ip address to the meaningful name for a human understanding like this address we know and we don't care what IP address is behind the scenes. So we add a record for this domain. So HTTP, make sure that is on. HTTP, HTTPS, both are on. Cisco Pack Tracer comes with the several sample page. You can edit those pages. Like here is a simple HTML file. You can add some tag here, like server one. And let's add some uh, some code so we can just add the P. And H1, ZK, Cisco, Packet Tracer, Tutorials by Sasite, Net, and we can close the H tag, and yeah, that's good, we can save it, and so by right, we must be able to resolve the DNS at this point, and reach to the HTTP. So we go to the wheel, this one of this PC, go to the desktop, open the web browser, and we type dub 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 sasite.net. As you can see, here is a Cisco packet tracer. HTML file can reachable via the DNS and be able to resolve. So both HTTP and DNS is now working fine. Let's test it. HTTPS also, HTTPS, dub dub dub. Sasite.net and HTTPS also working. So let's say if you put something else like uh, test.com, it won't be reachable because host name unresolved. So DNS, we don't have any DNS record. If you go to the VLAN uh, server and go to the DNS again and we add dub 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 test.com and point it back to the server at here we go and go back to machine. This time, top, 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 test.com can be resolved and we can reach to the web server behind this DNS. So we can check DHCP, DNS, and HTTP. Next thing I'm going to show you is the NTP or time server. So in NTP is very important. If we click on this router, and go inside and enable the router and show clock as you can realize usually is showing the out of date at time and date is not accurate so for security reason it is strongly recommended all your network devices must following their centralized NTP server to sync their time so you can easily can check the logs get any changes on your machine by referring to that time so we go to the server Go to the services tab and this time we go to ntp make sure the service is on you can set the authentication if you want and set the date and time current date and time so we go back on the router side and config the ntp server go to global config mode ntp server and ip address of our machine you can 
set the key for authentication but since we don't set any just click enter so nicely here we set if I exit let me show you the code slightly it's a very simple command just one command ntv server ip address of the ntv server so now this time if I show clock the data time are synchronized with my server and read from the server so if any things happen on a router I know that what time it's happened as I said it's very important you have an NTP in your network the next thing I'm going to show you is FTP here so go back to the server go to the FTP tab make sure the service is on we can add the users with the different privilege so let's add one user that's all right and as for the Cisco we can give the, all the permission write read delete rename and delete and add them so we have two users and the permission shown here and all the file within our t within our ftp server is showing here you can see the different ios we have here so nicely ftp is ready and it's time for testing so go to the one of this pc go desktop command prompt and just use a directory to see that we only have one file called sample file.txt and to log into FTP just FTP and IP address of FTP server 192.168.10.1 and use the username and password you have created and by FTP is very simple just press question mark you can see the what command you have you can put the file get the file downloading you can delete uh, rename the file and the uh, best thing is to dive here and you can see this, these are the same file as show you previously in the FTP server. So let's get some file and put some file. First of all, let me get some file. So we can use the get or download the file. So let's go with this file. It looks like it's not very big. Copy and paste. Just get the file name, press enter and the file transfer is started. So while it's downloading the file, you can get some rest and wait for a moment. Let me silent my mobile before you receive another WhatsApp message. So, yeah, okay, transfer complete, the total number of bytes you received. And let's put some file this time, you can put the sample file.txt is very important the name must be same and since the file is very small only 26 bytes the file immediately goes to ftp server if i die i can see this file is added here so where it keep our downloaded file you just need to quit ftp and this time as you can see you have one file for pt3000 series here in your local machine so FTP is a file transfer protocol and it's help you to put and get the file between the FTP server and your local machine. Another thing I want to show you today is a TFTP server is usually used for the communication between the router and switches to the server to back up the config file or upgrade the iOS file, back up the iOS file, those kind of stuff. So go to the services tab and go to the TFTP, make sure the service is on and these are the file within the TFTP file. So we go back to the router, the router file system, we can dial and you can see that we have several files in our machine here. We have iOS, which is this router is load from that and some uh, signature. And let me see, dire all, dire all is not supporting by this packet tracer, dire question mark, and we can see the NVRAM, we have file, no file inside, we can copy running to the startup config, and we have a file now in our NVRAM, and you can copy question mark, let's say for example, I want to back up the current running config into the FTP or the startup config, startup config, question mark and tftp so what is the ip address of tftp server 10.1 so you want to save name as a you can say the router config r1 and put the date you want so the file is done as you can see it's okay it's very simple we go back to the server go back to the 
TFTP portion, we can see the router config is uploaded successfully into the TFTP server. So next time you want to copy that configuration in other router or if in case that the configuration is corrupted, you can easily restore your config. Another usage is, let's say I want to copy some file from the server to my machine. Let's say here, I want to go here to TFTP and let's say we want to copy the one of these files. Let me bring up the both windows side by side. Okay, nice. So we have these files. Here we go. And we can say copy TFTP to the flash. So what is the address of the or name you can DNS if it said the DNS on the router you can resolve it at the moment anyway we use the IP address and what is the file let's copy this ASA 842-k8.bin so the file must be exist in a TFTP server destination file name same and immediately TFTP copy the file this time if we dial the flash we can see the ASA iOS is actually Upload it to our router so you can you may want to test or something you can have a different iOS and ask your router is boot from that iOS so TFTP is very useful for you as a network engineer in this tutorial we fully covered the services DHCP this server able to provide the IP address for all the segments VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 without any issue we have a DNS all this machine here by setting the DNS since the DHCP itself give the DNS information here we go refer back here in the pool of this server we define that serve the DHCP as a 192.168.10.1 so all these machines point back to the DNS server to the server one so they're able to resolve the DNS record in the server we set up the HTTP is a very simple you can see is on by default and we also saw the importance of NTP, how the device can get the time from the server. And finally, we test both FTP, upload and download the file from the machines to the FTP server and the TFTP server, which we upload and download the file and configuration from the router to the server. I hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, please uh, feel free to share your comments. Uh, watch, learn, subscribe and share. And thank you for watching.